Bears and Wolves, first of three meetings this year in the first game in 11 days for this Lenore Ryan men's basketball team as we welcome you courtside here. Eric Bach, Ned Kosh, Teddy Bear Toss night tonight here inside the shoe. And this is an LR team that needs to win. Haven't played in 11 days, lost their last home game here against Wingate. First of three meetings this year against Newberry. Shorthanded today, the Bears had a COVID outbreak amongst their team. Everybody is fine and here present tonight, but there's some protocols that you have to clear to get back and play in. So the Bears have a couple people back, but still missing four pieces tonight. They're going to have to find a way to scratch and claw against a good Newberry team tonight. Off we go. In leg two of our Hoops doubleheader tonight inside Shuford Arena. Robin Ledford in the game for Newberry with a deflection there. Campbell got behind the defense, kicks it to Tyson for a three. He's too strong. Yeah, I think Ham probably could have gone up with that one. Yes. I think he thought that there might have been someone on his back, and I'm not sure he realized how open he was. Already been a pretty successful freshman season for Campbell. That shot's too strong from Quandavian McCullum, and it will be back to Lenore Ryan. Newberry just won for their first six from three. That was a miss by TJ Brown. And now a three for Damian Midwinter. Knocks one down. Shows the uh, the blue tongue on the way by. He must have had a fruit roll-up or something before the game. Sometimes, you know, three-point shooters maybe aren't making a ton or aren't getting a bunch of minutes. See that first one go down. They want to keep taking them. Midwinter's missed his two since the first one. Nice double by Campbell in the post. Now Medwinter up ahead. McCollum tips the pass out of bounds as they were looking for Naismith. So em empty trip there with two misses, but an offensive rebound, again, just creating extra possessions. That's what Lenore Ryan needs to do tonight, get themselves as many possessions as possible. They had Ham on that same sideline out of bounds look that he had earlier. They didn't throw it into him this time. Looking for Naismith, but the double is coming. Well, now they're single covering him, and T.J. Naismith says, I'll take that all night long. Yeah, great job of knowing, you know, the matchup he had and then catching it and attacking early. I mean, it's tough to double the post when you catch it deep and attack right off the catch. Now Campbell trying to facilitate here. Saw him out here on the floor after the Wingate loss, putting up shots. Always trying to individually improve his game. Look at P.J. Joseph, head and shoulders down and one. How about this first half for P.J. Joseph out of nowhere? Yeah, just a guy who works hard. I mean, you talk about these guys, I mean, putting in the extra work. I mean, Coach Sullivan talked about it, you know, after uh, after the Louisville game. I mean, just the energy that these guys on the bench have, it, it really affects the whole play. Nice physical take there into the chest of Stremlo, who was called for the foul, which is just his first. Now Campbell off the screen. Another corner three, and this time Medwinter buries it. Just a really nice pass. I mean, Campbell got him the ball right in his shooting spot, catch and release. I mean, just, just simple offense right there, making a good shot. They've had a lot of success from the corner with the three ball. This game was 40-40, and now a 12-2 run for the Bears has gotten it to 52-42. That's, That's offensive. Call yep. for an offensive foul into the chest of Hamilton Campbell. And the wheels kind of falling off here for Newberry on offense. Yeah, you know, I mean, they came out with their run. LR responded with their run. I mean, it's, it's something, you know, we'll have to keep an eye on if, if it continues to be runs back and forth. But, I mean, you said it. New Newberry hadn't had the lead. They tied it up, and LR's gone on this run. Lost a tough one 11 days ago here at home against Wingate and had all that time to sit on it and think about it until this one. And that's a carry there on Quandavian McCullum as he palmed it trying to spin and another Newberry turnover. You know, I mean, it's just, just a little thing right there, right? Hamilton Campbell, a little bit tired. He's like, hey, coach, you know, get, get me somebody. You know, he, he knows that if he's tired, he's not going to be able to give the team everything that they need. And so getting some, getting some fresh legs in there, getting two of your stars and Jalen and TJ back on the floor. Bears by 14. Campbell gets in the air. They are tight on Nas Tyson. Well, they're not tight enough on TJ Naismith. Campbell finds him for the jam. And that's what you do against that zone, get that ball inside and just continue to string together baskets. You talked about it. Newberry had a big comeback last year against the Bears. Continue to string together baskets on the offensive end, play good D. You know, a little bit late, but a good closeout by Campbell. Didn't leave his feet. Forced a tough mid-range jumper there. Here's a little bit of that zone again. See if they can get it inside to Naismith. Gets a good, get it in a good spot right Jab there. step, drive. Now going with the left hand. And things are working well for TJ Naismith tonight. Uh, that's where you need to get the ball in the paint or in the zone. 
Get it in the paint, get it at the elbow. Make that zone start to collapse. And they were just one rotation a little bit late there. Cross court, knockdown shooter for LJ McCoy. He's gonna make that more often than not. Five assists now for Hamilton Campbell. And this is the largest lead of the game for LR at 19 as we creep up on the under eight timeout. Yeah, I mean, I think as, as much as those five assists for Campbell are great, the zero turnovers is, is just as impressive of a stat for, for the point guard. No doubt about it. Campbell with a drive. Gets cut off. Kicks it out. A three. LJ McCoy again. Good time out there by Coach Sullivan. Wants to get his defense set up here. The threes keep raining in for Lenore Ryan. That's a season high. 12 makes from the outside now for the Bears. This is just a 30 second timeout, so we'll stay right here. I mean, some of these have been pretty contested. Some of them have been open, but McCoy, I mean, he can make it no matter how open he is. Yeah, Campbell does a really nice job getting in the paint, sucking that defense down. Look at him use his eyes to get McCoy open. And now look, one thing I'll say, I think the best thing I've seen out of Lenore Ryan today is, is 29 made field goals, 17 assists. Yeah, that's it, good. It, they, they've been sharing the rock really well, and, and that, that's what you want to see, especially with some guys in some different roles. The ball's been working itself, finding the right guy open. 14 out of those 17 assists are three guys, the three distributors. Yep. That's Campbell, Jalen Johnson, and Nas Tyson. So yeah. the guard's doing exactly what they're supposed to do in this system. Remember, Quan Damian McCullum, the leading scorer of this Newberry team, is on the bench with four fouls. He got his yeah. fourth foul Say, we a long seen him time a ago. But at some point, you got to just bring him back in if you're Jason Taylor. Yeah, you would think. You're definitely under five. Time to get him in Campbell. He is crafty going to the rim there for two. I mean, yeah, I think that. I mean, that's his first first bucket, first shot of the game. Just yep. kind of timely with with his scoring all season long, with a split in the next two. Especially because Newberry has to come back here as well. Medwinter's had the hot hand from that spot, but that one's too strong. Campbell to wow. Smith. It's been the offensive rebounding. That's 11 offensive rebounds now for LR. Ah, McCollum fouled by Naismith. They reached around. And that will take us to the under four timeout. The 23 point lead is as large as it's been for the Bears. See if they can hold on to it in this last 306 on the Bears Sports Network. Bears are gonna hold on to this one. I gotta say, we knew it was within the realm of possibility that the Bears could very well win this game, but with four players out, four contributing players out after an 11 day break, a COVID outbreak, an or Ryan by 23 was not on my bingo card. The Bears lead wire to wire. Newberry was never ahead tonight. Yeah, I mean, I think that shows the, you know, the experience of this team, right? I mean, it's an older team. It's a lot of the team from, from a year ago who, who had their ups and downs. And now this team's really starting to figure out who they are, where their roles are. And I think a really big thing is you, now you got on tape what Damian Medwitter can do, what P.J. Joseph can do. So it hopefully allows you to get a little bit deeper in the season as you go, especially when you start playing, you know, three, four games in a week. To have that extra depth is huge. What a great job tonight by the Bears. They shoot 53% from the field. They make 13 three-pointers, which is a season high. And obviously, there is our player of the game, TJ Naismith. Season high, 24 points, 11 for 15 from the field, four rebounds, a block. I mean, he did it all tonight. Yeah, and, and I mean, he seemed to really take over in the middle of that second half when when you know, I think Newberry tied it up at 40, and then they really started going inside to TJ, and all of a sudden we looked up, and that lead was 19. Bears win it by 23 tonight, and Coach, I think your Bears Sports Network debut is a smashing success. I guess we'll have you back on Monday. Yeah, make sure Coach Simmons knows I'm, I'm undefeated on the, on, on the mic. Okay, Coach Simmons will be made well aware of that. Bears on the road Saturday at Anderson, then we are back here Monday for a 2 p.m. men's game against Chawan. We'll be on the air at 155 ahead of a 2 p.m. tip. We'll be there. Hope you're there with us. For Ned Keish and the rest of our wonderful 
Bears Sports Network crew working through the holidays. Eric Box saying so long from the shoe. A Bears sweep tonight over Newberry on the Bears Sports Network.